Hi Capricorn, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is a read for the coming week for you. Um, whether that's your sun, moon, rising, Venus, stars, wherever it is in your chart, you can have this read for you Capricorn. Um, you are free. That was round the wrong way. This keeps happening with my decks tonight and I don't know why because I don't put them all in the wrong way. They just came out. You are free. I hope that is an amazing thing that you need to hear. You are free from whatever it was that was holding you back. You're now free. And how amazing is it, Capricorn? Um, yeah, all the normal housekeeping gump is down below. So if you um, want to know decks and stuff, like this is Playful Heart Tower, but there's all the info down there. And the subscribe button if you want to subscribe. I never push that and I really should on my channel. <laughs> Um, but let's see what have we got for Capricorn please Capricorn Ten of Cups so pretty happy joyous sunshine it's that freedom feeling the full fulfillment and happiness and joy of um, finally being free from whatever it was somebody did a number on you corporate business gossip in the office have you left a job where people just talked about you behind your back or at least you felt like they were talking about you behind your back and you went fuck this i'm getting out of here <laughs> somebody was talking behind your back about you and as a result you always wore a mask you were never your true self sorry i need a cup of tea because that's you were never your true self you wore a mask they never knew the real you because you couldn't be the real you because they were so busy criticising whatever it was that they thought you were. You're always trying to impress someone or be someone that somebody else wanted you to be. And now's the time for you to be yourself. Live in your own moment, Virgo. Virgo? Capricorn. I don't know what Virgo's got to do with it. Perhaps you've got Virgo in your chart. It's time for you to be you. Step into your truth. Because you can only be truly happy. If, you, if you're trying to be someone else... It's exhausting on three levels. One, you're so busy <laughs> trying to be someone else. Two, you're trying to work out what somebody else wants you to be. So, no, hang on. You're trying to be someone, you're trying to work out what somebody wants you to be. Secondly, you're trying to be that person that you think that person wants you to be. And thirdly, you're not even, you're suppressing your own self. You're suppressing who you really are. And once you stop doing that, oh my God, you've got so much more energy and light. There's nothing holding you down. It's just freedom. And who gives a fuck what anybody else thinks? Two of Wands. Yeah, it's time for you to step into your moment and be who you truly are. If you're a fucking lion with two tails, you're a fucking lion with two tails. Embrace both them tails and start a show as your talent. There's something about you that they take the piss out of. Make it your strength. Make it your selling point. Make it your amazing skill that nobody else has. Stick two fingers up to them and go, you said it was shit and look what I've made with it. Give me shit, I'll grow flowers from it. Do you know what I mean? It's like you need to have a vision and move forward well i'm getting that you've already left there or you've already told them to shove it up their ass so um good for you you're on the path to where you'll makes you really happy probably <sighs> diet change if this is about weight by the way your weight doesn't affect how you are as who you are as a person i mean obviously it does physically affect who you are as a person but your personality this is just your fleshy vessel you have an amazing soul and an amazing talent within you that needs to be shine, shone. Needs to shine or be shone. That's Mercury retrograde getting in there, see? Messing up tenses. Nine of Pentacles, look, fabulous. That just screams Oprah to me. You get a car and you get a car. Or is that Ellen? I can't remember. I'm not American, but we see these things come over. But yeah, no, look, confident. Oprah is. She's a confident, unapologetic be who she is. She didn't marry because she didn't want to. She's still with her partner. She makes her own money, does her own thing. She does her thing. She does her thing, her niche thing. And she does it brilliantly. And that's who she is, unapologetically. And look how successful she is. She took what she is and made it amazing 
you need to stop focusing on somebody else's journey as well and comparing yourself to them and focusing on what you think you haven't have or haven't done compared to someone else it doesn't fucking matter they're not on your path you're on your path not them you should only be worrying about what you haven't have or haven't done for your journey for where you want to be yeah it's time to get moving time to get doing time to get passionate have some fun if you have left someone and you're newly single, go out and have some sexy fun. Be careful, obviously. But now you can see a future where you're happy in your own skin. You can sleep with who you want, do what you want, low commitment. You've got no commitment to anybody. You can chase your creative ideas. You can be whoever you want. The freedom to just... It looks like he's got like a boiler suit on, like a racing car jacket suit, boiler, you know, the jumpsuit things. It's really cool. Yeah, go do what it is you're supposed to do. Go do what you were born to do. Do a passion, creative passion project. Right now, you're, you've, or recently, you've been stifled, not following on the path that you're supposed to be doing. And it's just, ugh. but you've left there now. You've left that place. You're not there anymore packed up your bags and you've moved on to a new better bigger and better and brighter front future and if that's a relationship the kids of the kids will be fine look they're fine once you get you just it's a new fr new front new frontier it's a new future you will be fine you'll you'll thrive look you're better off on your own you'll thrive you'll have everything you need look at the happy little kids in the flowers it's a wish lamp you wish it you have it you are free now you're free to do whatever you want you're free from that shitty job you're sh free from those shitty people you're free from that shitty relationship it doesn't matter whatever it was that was shitty and made you feel like absolute crap and undermine your confidence now's the time to step into your light and be you and apologetically so you have you and your loved ones are safe which is appropriate if you have left for something it's time to release negativity and the energy is gaining momentum success is on the horizon for you if it's not here already it's on its way that's really cool that's really cool i like that the more upbeat and positive you get with yourself the more energetic you are about yourself and how much you love yourself and your confidence the more upbeat and energetic things are going to come into you you're resonating higher so things fly to you quicker it's amazing it's the law of attraction have a look into it this is your um sacred self-care oracle card for you i'm doing this for everybody because everybody should practice self-care and this is just a prompt for you to follow to make sure you look after yourself this week sync with the moon absolutely have a look at um moon magic and moon manifestations and just anyway with your cycle when you're most productive or least productive and one more clear your energy field yeah clear out all that negative shit that people's left hanging around you it's time for you to clear your aura clear your energy clear your happiness just make clear your space clean house is a happy house you know There you go. It's time to clear out the shit and start. When, when you clear out crap, it leaves space for positive stuff to come in and fill that space, fill that void. And if crap comes in with it, just clear that crap too until the happy stuff does come. Anyway, I hope that helps Capricorn. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.